One day I met a shark, and my life changed. <laughs> no, it's not what you might think. I didn't lose a limb, nor do I bear any scars mentally or physically. In fact, I made friends with one of the most extraordinary animals on earth, a ragged tooth shark called Maxine that was living at the Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town, South Africa. I knew that sharks were getting a very bad rap and that irresponsible media that demonizes them together with unsustainable fishing practices, in particular the barbaric and cruel practice of shark finning is driving many shark species to extinction. I was determined to assist in saving them, but I needed an ambassador. Maxine's remarkable past made her the perfect star. Six years prior to our meeting, Maxine was caught in the shark nets, where she was fortunate to be found alive, promptly tagged, and released by members of the Natal Sharks Board. 91 days later, and over 1,400 kilometers further down the coast, she was caught during a fishing competition. Luckily again for Maxine, the anglers knew that the aquarium was looking for a shark her size, so they transported her to a tidal pool, where she was later taken to the aquarium and successfully introduced to the shark exhibit. Go baby. Go baby. Passionate about helping to save sharks, I packed up my rat race of a job, formed the Afri Oceans Conservation Alliance, a non-profit organization, and over a period of three years, designed a shark conservation program for which Maxine was the icon. The Save Our Seas Foundation funded it, and the Two Oceans Aquarium supported it, and made a decision to release Maxine. And what ultimately happens to her and how her life will end, we don't know. But it is my hope that the, the luck that got Maxine this far will continue into the years ahead. And that through this program, no matter what happens to her, that she will live on in the lives of many people for years to come. It was time for me to say goodbye to a very special animal. Over the years, I had developed a very strong bond with Maxine. I would miss her. After nine years in captivity, Maxine was finally going home. It took the love and care of many. As part of an exciting research project, and so that we could track her movements, she was satellite tagged before her big moment of freedom. Go straight in. 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 Go straight in.
We need our sharks. Alive.